New at five, we all know that smog and pollution are part of a daily life in parts of Southern California, but just how bad is the air we breathe? Yeah, a new multi-million dollar project is putting that question to the test. NBC Force Christian Casada shows us the team mapping air quality block by block. It's no secret the air we breathe in major cities like Los Angeles is not the best. You could breathe and you could. You could definitely tell the quality of the air wasn't as good. And it doesn't get any better in the Inland Empire. Congestive problems where it's really hard to breathe. Sometimes you get good days and sometimes you get bad days. As you can see for today, it's not really that good on the air quality. But do we really know what we're breathing? That's what Miles Reed is focused on. Uh, we drive around and we capture data. Uh, we're looking into and gathering uh, air particulates. Reed is with Aklima an air measurement and analysis company that is partnering with the California Air Resources Board on a $21 million state-funded project that is stretched across nine months. What we're doing is mapping air pollution block by block in 64 of the most pollution overburdened communities in the state. 19 of those 64 communities, according to Aklima, are in Southern California, from North Hollywood to Anaheim, Corona to San Bernardino. How the data is captured is where Reed comes in with his car equipped with technology that he says does all the work as he zips around. Uh, up top, we have the, uh, the wind sensor that, that allows us to measure the air. All that data, he says, gets put into this computer in the trunk and fed back where engineers study the pollutant sources mainly focused in underserved communities, commercial and industrial areas. Typically, when we're talking about air pollution, the first people that we're concerned about are children, are older people. Similar projects have been done in the past, but the group says this is the biggest yet. Once the data is collected and evaluated, communities can determine how to improve the air they're breathing. The data results, according to the group, should be available next year. They say that's when communities will have the opportunity to see how they want to deal with the pollution by doing things like applying for grants to buy air filters for schools or even new trees for their neighborhood. In San Bernardino County, Christian Casares, NBC4 News.